All right, the Dimension mainnet is now live. And if you qualified for this airdrop and claimed it, you can now access your tokens. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss what I plan on doing with my airdrop. Hint, I'm gonna be staking it because there's a lot of opportunities to roll this over, build up that airdrop snowball and qualify for even more airdrops. So I'm also gonna talk about what the opportunity is and then I'll show you step-by-step step how you can stake this. Now for starters, if you claim the Dimension airdrop but you don't know how to access your tokens, this is what you have to do. You're gonna to want to go to Chainlist. I'll leave a link to this down below and then hit the button here to add the Dimension network to your MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using. Once you do that, you'll be able to see the network amongst all of the other networks that you have set up on your wallet. And when you switch over to it, you can see the balance of Dimension tokens that you received. And so you can actually use this Ethereum wallet to manage your tokens, to send them or to stake them. And it's important to note that you don't actually have to transfer the Dimension tokens to another wallet. I've seen lots of people talking about setting it up on Kepler or Leap. You don't even need to do that. You receive the tokens in an Ethereum or an EVM wallet. So if you're using MetaMask or Rabi or Coinbase wallet, you can stake directly using this wallet. You don't have to set up a separate wallet or import your private key elsewhere. So this is my demo wallet for the channel and I was lucky enough in this wallet to receive 428 DYM tokens today, which as of the time of this recording is worth almost $2,600 because the price of this thing just keeps ticking up. And so using some of these tokens that I received today, I am going to stake them. And I believe that one of the main reasons why this token is going up in price is because many people think staking the DYM token is going to lead to many other airdrops, hence the airdrop snowball. And this is pretty much the exact same narrative that saw the Celestia token airdrop go from around $2.50 per token all the way up to around $17, $18. Now, I'm not saying that the Dimension token is going to have a similar run-up because that would be very difficult to replicate. The reality is though, if you wanna stake your Dimension tokens, there's a very good chance that you can qualify for additional airdrops. And the reason for that is that Dimension makes it super, super easy for people to launch their own roll app, which is basically a blockchain. And so any application that wants to launch their own blockchain quickly and easily can use Dimension for that. And so if you stake your Dimension tokens, help secure the network, then you are probably going to be rewarded with airdrops from some of the many roll apps that are deploying on Dimension. On the testnet, there were over 13,000 different roll apps that deployed to the Dimension network. And so even if only a fraction of those deployed to the mainnet and then actually airdropped to users or stakers, that is still a lot of potential. And so that is why I'm going to be staking pretty much all of my Dimension airdrop. I'm only gonna hold back a little bit in reserve to pay for gas fees or transaction fees, but I'm actually not planning on selling any of it. However, there's definitely no shame in selling if you need the money and you need to cash out of this airdrop and you can't afford to just keep rolling it over into the airdrop snowball. So if you do want to sell, this has been listed now on Binance as well as a number of different exchanges and the price that you can get for the these tokens right now is quite good. So totally up to you. But now I'm gonna show you how to stake it and I'll discuss which validator I'm going with. Now I'm doing this process through my Ethereum wallet because I don't want to import this to a Kepler or a Leap. So there's actually tutorials on how you can stake directly with Kepler, but there's a bunch of other steps you have to do before that and it's completely unnecessary. I'll throw links down below in case you actually did that or you want to do that for some reason, but I'm just using my Ethereum wallet and this is the simplest and honestly the best way to do it. So staking occurs directly on the Dimension portal. All you have to do is click here under staking and then you can see the list of validators. Now, when it comes to choosing a validator, you're gonna to wanna to choose one that has a low commission. So 5% is ideal because that is the lowest and pretty much the standard. You can see almost everyone is using 5% except for a couple of big ones at the end. So definitely look for a commission of 5%. And then the other thing that's important to consider, especially when it comes to airdrops, is to not delegate your tokens to one of the big ones, like Chorus One or Big Brain Staking. They have so much voting power already, and it's possible that future airdrops will encourage people that stake with smaller validators. Now, I am going to be using Nation Crypto Parceros. I know these guys, I've met them, they're really good people. They've been validators on a bunch of other networks within the Cosmos ecosystem, and I trust them, so that's who I'm going with. Now, if you want to support my channel before doing this, one extra step that you can do is go to my referral code with Nation Crypto. All you have to do if you wanna support my channel at no additional cost is to just paste your wallet address in this 
line here and hit submit. And then once you get this green bar that says successful registration, you can hit on this button, which brings you to the exact page I was just showing you. I guess in my excitement, I forgot to connect my wallet. So let me go ahead and do that. Then it automatically detects the balance of dimension tokens that you have. So let's go ahead and search for Nacion Crypto again. And then you'll notice there's a big button that says stake. So simply hit that and then select the amount that you want to stake. So for now, let's say I'm gonna stake 250 dimension tokens from this wallet. Note that you have to lock up your funds for 21 days. So if you wanna unbond your stake, it takes three weeks, which is exactly the same as with every other stake token within the Cosmos ecosystem, like Atom, like Tia, et cetera. So select the amount you wanna stake, hit stake, and then it's gonna pop up in your wallet asking you to sign a message and then confirm the transaction. So here we go. And the network is actually super busy right now, as you can imagine, because a lot of people are trying to stake. So if you get an error or it doesn't work the first time, just try refreshing the page and it will go through eventually. It's just under heavy load right now. Now, while I'm waiting for this to go through, there's a couple of other important points that I wanna talk about. First of which is that if you received a large amount in terms of an airdrop, you're probably better off splitting it up amongst a couple of different wallets if you wanna try and farm airdrops within this ecosystem. Because if I staked the full amount with this one single wallet here, $2,500 is a lot and probably way above whatever the minimum threshold will be to qualify for airdrops within the Dimension ecosystem. And so you're actually better off transferring a portion of your airdrop to a centralized exchange if you received a decent amount anyway and then send it out from there to a couple of fresh wallets that you can use to stake Dimension tokens with. And that way you can potentially qualify for all of these Dimension airdrops with multiple wallets. So that's gonna be my strategy anyways. This is only one of the wallets that I received an airdrop with and I'm definitely not planning on just putting all of it into one single wallet and staking it there because I feel like that's not actually the optimal strategy here. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that it definitely makes sense to stake sooner rather than later if you're trying to create the airdrop snowball effect. You can already see that 7% of the Dimension tokens have been staked as of a couple of hours ago. So this is going up relatively quickly and you could wait a week or two to do this if you want to, but if you're just gonna be sitting on your tokens anyways, then I think it makes sense to stake sooner rather than later and make sure that you don't miss any potential snapshots because if you stake on the first day, you literally can't possibly miss any snapshots. Anyways, my stake did eventually go through. It took me two tries, but now I'm live staking with the Nacion Crypto Validator and earning those staking rewards. And by the way, the fee for staking is quite low. It was 0 0.0065 Dimension Tokens, which works out to just a couple of cents to make this transaction. Now, at any point, if you want to unstake because you need the money for something, you just hit on these three little buttons here and click unstake. You can also use this to claim your rewards and to compound them if you're interested in doing that. And the strategy here is to not just stake, but to keep the Dimension Tokens staked and to increase it over time by redelegating the rewards that I get so that the snowball builds up. So this dashboard right here is gonna allow you to track all of your dimension staking. Now, the one other thing I will say is that at the top here, if you click on your wallet address, there's a button to withdraw the funds and you can use this to send the dimension tokens to, for example, Binance or MEXC if you need to cash out. So you can use this to actually cash out. Just send it to your wallet address on Binance and then you can sell it there. Otherwise, they are eventually gonna have a swaps feature integrated here, but I don't believe there's any liquidity for that yet because it's not currently working. So you may eventually be able to actually swap your dime tokens directly in this app. So now we are locked and loaded, trying to get some additional airdrops. And in terms of the other tokens that I have in my wallet, I am going to be giving some of them away in a giveaway. So I've got a giveaway live right now in partnership with Nacion Crypto where we're giving away 200 US dollars worth of Dimension Tokens, which is gonna work out to about 10 Dimension Tokens to each of four separate winners. And if you want to enter this contest, all you have to do is follow, like, and retweet on Twitter, and then post a screenshot down below of you actually delegating your Dimension Stake to Nacion Crypto. And you can see quite a few people are already doing so. And so if you've gotten this far and you've completed all of the steps that I just showed you, you might as well also go participate in this giveaway and potentially add some Dimension Tokens to your stack. Now in the future, if there's any updates on airdrops from staking Dimension Tokens, or if I change my strategy, I will let you know. Otherwise, with the rest of these tokens, I think I'm gonna send some to a wallet or two, try to separate out the stake and experiment with different amounts 
counts, 250 dimension tokens is a decent amount. And I might also try to set up a couple of other wallets with different amounts, like 100, 150. I've got a couple of other wallets that qualified for this airdrop. And so I'm going to try and spread it out a little bit and hedge my bets. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and congratulations to everyone that got this Dimension airdrop. I know quite a few people have said that they watched some of my tutorials on how to stake Celestia tokens, which has led them to actually receiving the Dimension airdrop, in some cases worth four figures. So thanks again for sticking with the channel and hopefully we will continue to secure Ws in 2024. See you later.